Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to prevent applications from running for all users on a computer uh, using local group policy in Windows. So the local group policy editor is for Windows Professional Editions, but you can actually enable it in Windows Home Editions, so I'll put a link in the description on how you can do that. So once you have it running, you just simply type in gpedit.msc, or you might not even need to do the .msc. Open the group policy editor, which I already have open here. So then you want to navigate to user configuration, administrative templates, system, and then look for don't run specified Windows applications. Double click it to open it up. Okay, you want to enable it. And then where it says list of disallowed applications, click on show. And then you can start adding the executable name. You don't need to add the path or anything, just the executable. So let's try Word, for example. So if you don't know the executable, obviously you're going to have to find it. Okay, so let's apply that. So now if we try to open Word, sometimes you'll see this restriction message, like if it's an icon on your taskbar, but if we try and open it from the Start menu here, you can see it just does nothing. So for some reason you don't get the same results every time, so let's go to All Apps here to find it there. Same thing, just nothing. All right, so now let's try it for something else here. Let's do Adobe Acrobat. So if you don't know the executable, you could right click on your shortcut, properties, and look at the target. So this is acrobat.exe. So that's what we want. Okay, click on show. Paste it in there. Okay, and apply. And now we have the same thing. So this time on the desktop, it did the same thing as it does on the taskbar, but let's see what the start menu does for that. So if it's in the start menu, it seems like it just doesn't do anything, but if it's a shortcut on your desktop or taskbar, it looks like you'll get that message. All right, so now let's log in with a different user here. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's try Word. Nothing. Adobe Acrobat. Nothing. All right, let's go back to the original user here. Okay, then of course, if you want to come in here, you can remove, you know, something. Let's say we don't want that. Now you can see it works. So one thing you will notice though, is if you have stuff in here, so let's put this back in here, and you go and disable it and apply it, you know, obviously things will start working. But if you go back and enable it, your list will be gone. So once you disable it, it wipes out your list. So you need to remember what you had in there if you actually go and disable it. All right, so once again, open the local group policy editor, user configuration, administrative templates, system, don't run specified Windows applications, enable it, then add the executable name to your list here, and that's all there is to it. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.